wonderful people on the internet, it's Sugar Coated Kiss and for this video I'm going to be showing you all of the items that you can obtain from the Animal Crossing Sanrio collaboration cards. A lot of you probably know that these are extremely rare now and pretty much extinct. These were not available in the United States, only released in Japan and the UK. My set was actually sent to me from an amazing Twitch sub. Jade, thank you again. I will keep these cards safe and treasure them forever. I really appreciate it. I got so lucky. She was so nice and kind enough to send me the whole set. UK was spoiled because in their packs, it came with all six cards and I think the stickers as well. For the Japanese packs, it comes with two cards, one sticker seal. I have these stickers displayed on my shelf. You guys can get a closer look at that in my shelf video. I checked on eBay and I saw one listing for the Japanese pack, two cards, one sticker for $90. And that is so ridiculous. I don't even see anybody selling the whole set. I, I don't even know how much that would be. But there are a lot of uh, digital offers where people will ask to exchange friend codes with you. You pay, what, I think like $5. They buy the items for you and I think uh, they will deliver it to your town. I don't know, some people will just be content with the items, uh, not even owning the cards. I checked on Etsy and there is somebody who makes um, fan-made versions of them. So if you're okay with not having the authentic version of it and you still want the card for yourself to scan in, that's also another option. I am going to be scanning in all six cards for you guys today to show the full list of items. I do have an Amiibo Unlocks page on my website. If you want to scroll through that, I have the Sanrio cards as well as the Amiibo figures and all 50 RV Welcome Amiibo villagers. I want to do a video on all of the figures and other cards as well, but I'm going to start with Sanrio because it is only six cards. Uh, much easier and quicker to go through. So let's get into it. The shirt that I'm wearing says Retail Therapy. It is the power couple, Reese and Cyrus. And I got it from the Nintendo store in New York City back during the holidays. I hope that a lot of New Leaf players are familiar with the new Welcome Amiibo update, which is Amiibo compatible, so you can scan in figures and cards. Those who did not know, I can show you the difference in the physical copy. Those who might have abandoned their port town still have the old copy of Animal Crossing. It's okay, you can still get the update. You simply just get the update through the eShop. I don't think you can even launch the game without updating to Welcome Amiibo, so you gotta do it. I just have a lot of feelings to share about this game. I want to keep it alive. I have been playing tons of Pocket Camp, but I will always be loyal to New Leaf. And I want to show you guys how incredible it can be and how much better it is now. I don't even know how I used to live without this update, you know, playing the older version. It felt like a brand new game to me after the update came out about a year ago. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna get to scanning. Starting with the first card, it is this absolutely terrifying gorilla representing Hello Kitty. I don't know, some of you might be into the look. I'm just not a fan. I really don't like it. I get that Hello Kitty is not actually a cat. Sorry if I just ruined that for anybody. But it would make so much more sense to me if they just had a cat for Hello Kitty and especially because we didn't get a cat from any of the RV villagers. I mean, I guess you could count Monster Hunter, but not really. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so disappointed that, you know, for the Hello Kitty furniture, it's not even a cat. Oh well. They look just like the Welcome Amiibo RV villager cards, but of course, in the leaf here, it has a Hello Kitty bone on the back next to the Amiibo chip as well. And you can see it says Sanrio Collaboration Card Pack. Not all of the items pictured on the card uh, is what you get. There is more. There are clothing items. You just have to scan them in and check the list. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. 
All right, so I'm in my house now. This is my main room, and I'm using a lot of the items I'm going to be showing you today. I set up a little Sanrio boutique in here. If you guys are jamming to this song and want to know the title, it is Cafe KK. I'm gonna take you over to my whisk lamp here. So he's gonna pop out. I like his uh, uh, gap tooth, <laughs> it's so adorable. I am going to scan in Rila's card. And I do have the DS that has the built-in amiibo reader. For those of you who have the old 3DS XL, you're going to need an NFC reader. I think she needs to get some pants. So come and play. By doing this, she will end up at my campsite, so I need to go visit her. On our way now to the campground. Sorry, I think I said campsite, but I should really refer to it as a campground because we already have a campsite. It's the old tent. I'm not sure if a lot of people still use it. I'm actually very curious. Let me know down in the comments. It, if you are still excited to see anybody in your igloo slash tent uh, during the seasons. Uh, so, here we go. My campground is actually up here. And we are going to be greeted by Harvey. Some of the items that he has for sale. It's like he's working out, stretching, doing exercise. Here is what the RV looks like. Hello Kitty, right on the side. Okay, so let's go ahead and step on inside. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there we go. The bow on the back of the shirt. So that is what the Hello Kitty shirt looks like. Okay, she's trying to block me in here. All right, fine. I actually really enjoy the color scheme for these items. They all have the Hello Kitty bow. Let me take you to the list. We have the Hello Kitty wall and pink polka dots with the red and blue border at the top and bottom. Hello Kitty floor. This is just blue. But these two, they uh, they go together. For all the sets um, in Sanrio. Hello Kitty bed. Now it says three coupons for me. If somebody else were to scan in this card for you and you visited their town, it will cost you five coupons. Yes, it's more expensive when you are out and about traveling to another town. The chair. Hello Kitty clock. Drawers. The dress, the overall dress, it's definitely an upgrade from the, I think, is it Gracie? No, it might just be regular Able Shop overall dress. Yeah, there you go, the hat. You can have the whole ensemble. This is the t-shirt with the bow and then some ruffles at the bottom. Panther shoes, cute bow shoes, and a big table. You are only allowed to order three items a day. So I'm gonna get the shoes, table, and planter. If I try to go for something else, it will tell me that I've already reached the limit. Marty Bear's card, all of the pudding themed items. I think Pom Pom Piran is definitely pretty popular with all the characters. So this is card number two. There is something I should probably tell you guys. So if you come up here and you order from the NPC RV that is here every day and then you go back and try to bring in a special villager, you are not going to be able to get anything else if you have already bought from here because it is only limited to three items per day. If you get three in here, and then after you try to go in here, it's not going to work. So let's see what he's got. Look how 
look. Small Marty Bear is. He's got powdery cheeks, eyebrows looking better than mine, and a tiny beret. I like how they chose a cub bear to represent Pom Pom Purin. And this is actually a TV back here. Everything with Pom Pom Purin's face on it. The, the cat in the bed actually tucked in, taking a sneeze. Here are the items. This is what the wall looks like. Perfect for a cafe room. Pom Pom Purin floor has the cat in some of the blocks. Here is the Pom Pom Purin bed. You can see in the back, it's got the tail too. Wait for it to spin around, there we go chair similar to the bed this is the outfit it's kind of like a schoolgirl outfit it got the plaid skirt and a yellow jacket with some badges it looks like oh and these are the pigtails this is actually a wig and your hair will be yellow it's not like other wigs where it will just kind of transform into your uh, current hairstyle color the t-shirt, I really like using this t-shirt to refurbish some random items. Here is the pudding. I think that the pudding is a must have. I think it's probably like the best item in this RV. I don't know, I just really like how decorative it is. It's got like the biscuit on top. It's definitely flan, right? Regular pudding. All right, the rack, and I think these items are great for anybody who is actually making a sweets or food town, whipped cream on top. The Ugg boots, <laughs> pom pom here and table. The pudding fits perfectly on top of the pom pom here and table. Like this is a set, you need to get the two. And then the TV. This fluffy sheep's name is a Tole, and she has card number three. I just can't get over how pretty all the colors are. So, let's go see what she has. Outside of a Tole's RV now. I'm sorry, I can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet. You can invite these villagers to live in your town. Unfortunately, you are unable to have other people or friends come in to adopt these villagers. And I think same goes for Splatoon and Legend of Zelda and Meepo uh, villagers as well. Yeah, I think uh, the only way they they are going to be able to have them in their town is if they actually own the card. So here it is, the Twin Stars. That's what her theme is. It got the cotton candy look going on. Step inside. Now her RV is a pastel dream. We've got all the stars and moons, rainbows. Best thing in here is probably the washing machine. It has the cat on the top, but it's shaped like a star. And it does give you a nice, I guess, tune. It doesn't really count as music, well, similar to a music box. So here are her items look like. The pink wallpaper the cloudy floor they do look very nice together because we've got a lot of blue and pink in here so here's the cloud making machine and i like how the handle has a star as well oh and in the center you can see the bubbles the kind of sort of and everything has that fluffy cloud texture almost like a marshmallow or melted marshmallow here's the bed and the stars on top, the clock, the ruffled dress, t-shirt, the stripes and star, village, oh, I never even realized that, the blue star on the back, and then yellow on the front. The star pin, this is kind of like star pin 2.0, everyone knows like there's the regular star pin at LaBelle's shop, but here there's just like a tiny little star added on. The pink shoes, um, some socks here, ruffled socks, the sofa, table, wow, lots in here. And then the wand, the one that you can carry around with you if you're walking around town. Here you can get a good look at card number four. It is chai, light blue skin tone, she's got the white hair and all of the cinema roll furniture. 
Chai is here to visit. Look at Cinnamon Roll, that swirly tail. Okay, I'm gonna bring you all inside with me. I guess that Chai's items are cafe related. Chai is Tia's BFF because you need a teacup to your teapot. I mean, just look at that cup of tea or coffee, whatever it is, on her head. Balance is insane. And what is going on with her hair though? Looks like she has a wig on. <laughs> but I adore villagers with uh, full bangs, so that's okay. And she's got like the yellow nose and also hands and feet. Uh, let's take a look at the items. Uh, we're gonna start with the wall. Bricks on the bottom and some pastel stripes up top. And the floor is actually a bit different, but the two look all right together, I think. You could definitely use this separately in accommodation with another wall though. Cinema roll hat. I wear this in my fifth town actually. Blue bow is awesome. Here's like the school varsity jacket. I'm gonna wait for it to spin around here so you can see it properly. There you go. Got uh, some kind of award ribbon. This is the nice blouse top. A parasol, so nice like umbrella. Sneakers, the cafe sign with some mineral on top. The sofa and the cushions are pink cinnabons. The tail on the back. Everything's so swirly. The stool that looks like a teacup. Yeah, you can sit on this. You can also put items on top of stools now. So things that go on a table, you can also put on, you know, a cushion, or those little pillows, and stools. The scallop table here, pink and white, and then tea tray. I am so glad this tea tray exists because I was getting real tired of all of the teapots and ugly tea trays just in regular game. Chelsea, card number five is everything pink. She is a mascot for My Melody. She even has the My Melody ears on that headband. And uh, all of the stuff is just so cute. And I think this is maybe my favorite card. Pretty much what you would expect from My Melody RV, right? Light pink and My Melody on the side here. Time to go inside. It looks kind of empty in here, but there is a lot of stuff that you can buy. The headband that she's wearing is not available. You get a hat instead. Interesting how they went with the green hair, but look how cute it is with the flower clip because that is my Melody's signature thing, you know. Uh, let's see what she has here. The My Melody wall. And I think this is so simple and cute. It has the big pink block at the bottom with this like uh, little floral print. The My Melody floor, the same design as the Pom Pom Purin floor. Bed with these floral covers. Uh, I want my IRL bed to look like this. I wouldn't mind having a twin bed. Wait, where's the pillow though? I just noticed. There's no pillow on this bed. Hmm. Rocking chair here. Rocking chair has a beanie on or something. See that cover on the top? My Melody clock. The dress. I think people go absolutely crazy for this dress. It's got like an apron style and then like a cardigan on top with pom poms. It just looks so good on the dresser. And here is the My Melody hat with the uh, floppy ears there. The shirt, uh, the shirt is like a tulip design. It looks like there's like the Sailor Moon uh, bib or something on top. And the pink Ugg boots here. My Melody table. It looks like it's a uh, heart doily there.
It's Mr. Toby. I love him. Those tiny cheeks and that face. Look how his one eye just kind of peeks through his bangs there. I don't know. He's got a nice haircut and his furniture is just so unique. Very different from all of the other cards. So can't wait to show you guys what he has. Saving the best for last year, Kirobi or Toby's RV is probably my favorite. See Kirobi Froggo, he's got the two flags here to represent his name. I'm excited to show you, let's go in. Now, Toby's stuff is very different from all of the other Sanrio sets that I have shown you. As you can see, it is more zen, like an outdoor bath kind of feel. The awesome item in here is this red bridge. And you can see that a lot of his items have like the crappy face, or, like the eyeballs here, googly eyes on top. The pond is so nice. And we've got the lily pad tables. The Kirobi cake, which is so round and cute. The lamp over here, and then this is actually a bench. And these rain dolls. So if you guys watch Fairy Tale, Juvia actually had one of these on her dress. And uh, I think there is some tragic history behind it, but it is a rainy...